Hello, everybody. Yeah, I know. What lunatic would go live here on Christmas Eve, right? Well, I thought that some of you might also feel alone during the holidays, just like me. I'm Nina, and I'm 14, and I'm about to celebrate this Christmas on my own in an empty house, choking down frozen pizza and tears, and hoping for a Christmas miracle. You're probably asking how all this happened. Well... As far as I remember, my mom and dad were never all that sweet to each other in public. But I never doubted that they cared about each other. For example, dad always loaded the dishwasher. Because he wanted to be helpful, since mom was tired after cooking dinner. Or mom would wake up early to make dad's favorite breakfast if she knew that he was going to have a tough day. But then one day, mom announced that the firm where she was working at had made a few cuts and that she had to take on several positions and work more. Gradually, I started noticing that mom no longer decorated dad's plate when she served dinner. She no longer argued with him about his scientific conclusions. And it really looked like she wished she was somewhere else, other than at home with us. And dad, well, whenever he was at home, he normally locked himself in his study and spent hours in there, staring at his computer instead of at least trying to bond with me or Nikki, my older brother. In addition to that, Nikki had apparently entered his rebellious stage as a teenager. Every time I saw him, he was moody and unfriendly, so to speak. He no longer wanted to play video games with me like he used to, and he was constantly rude when talking to mom. I mean, during those rare moments when we were all together at home. So by autumn, I began feeling so lonely, despite the fact that there were three people aside from me living in her house, and I started talking to my granny more frequently. She and grandpa were living in another city, and she was just getting used to using social media, so it was kind of helpful for her when I would call her on Skype. Anyway, Christmas was coming, and I really wanted it to be the best of the best, you know? Just to keep the family together. So, I decided to learn how to cook to be able to bake something special and extraordinary for everyone. I made some nice brownies, as they seemed to me, and I decided to give my dad a piece to try. So I brought a cup of tea and the treats I had just baked to his study, and I thought he'd be surprised that I made them myself. But dad wasn't there, and I decided to just leave the tray and leave him a sticky note on his computer. But when I accidentally touched the mouse, the screen turned on, and I saw an awkward tab open in the browser. It turned out it was a dating site, and my dad actually had an enormously huge chat in there with a woman nicknamed Cherry66. Oh. My. God. I had found out that my dad was having an online affair. I just looked through it and saw like a million messages there, and I got scared. I don't know that I'd get caught. So I just switched everything back to sleep mode again, left my tray with the tea and treats, and rushed out of dad's study. I had no doubt about whether I should tell my mom about that or not. I imagined for a moment that dad might leave us for that cherry 66 woman, and I definitely didn't want him to do that. So I assumed that if mom was aware of this possibility, she would do something to prevent it, or at least have a chance to prevent it. She looked a little bit upset, but there was no surprise on her face. Since then, I was praying for a Christmas miracle every day, that my parents' relationship was going to become normal. Well, every night I would go to bed nervous because I was expecting that I'd hear my parents arguing about it. I strained my ears trying to hear at least something, and every inch of my skin resembled a nerve ending when I heard someone's footsteps or how somebody was opening and closing doors and all that stuff. But nothing ever happened. Everything just went on as usual. The feeling of anxiety was gradually growing inside me. And I was sure that I had to do something with my newfound knowledge to, you know, force the miracle or whatever. So I decided to tell Nikki about what I saw back then on our dad's computer. Nikki looked pretty puzzled and dejected. And honestly, I thought that he would tell me to keep my nose out of it or something like that. But he suddenly said that there was something that he wanted to tell me. A couple of minutes later... I found out the reason why he had been so mean to our mom lately. One day, Nikki was on a date with his girlfriend and saw her mom in town. She was supposed to have been at work, and he thought that maybe she was having lunch or something. But when he was about to approach her, he suddenly saw a man who had his arms around mom's waist, and both of them set off toward a motel nearby. Later that day, Nikki told mom that he saw her, and she looked puzzled and upset and promised that it was nothing and begged him to keep quiet. But a few days later, he, once again, saw mom with the same man, 
but this time they were kissing in his car a few blocks away from our house. I felt so disappointed and even scared because, as I'd been afraid of before, our family was literally falling apart. I had the sudden urge to do something about it. I don't know, maybe I saw it in the movies, or on a TV show, or somewhere else. But I immediately saw this picture of a loving couple on a romantic date with candles and a violin in my head. I thought that I knew exactly what to do to rescue our parents' marriage. We chose Thursday evening for the realization of our plan. It was then that both mom and dad promised to be home for dinner. We really did arrange everything like in the movies, with candles here and there, nice music, and food we ordered for home delivery from our parents' favorite restaurant. By the way, I spent almost all my savings on that, and Nikki bought a gorgeous bouquet for mom. We decided to go upstairs in anticipation of an actual miracle, but something went completely wrong. Just as soon as mom saw everything, she got angry. She thought that dad had done all this, and she was mumbling something rude about him while blowing out all the candles. A few minutes later, Dad arrived, and he was also surprised by the scene. They thought they were alone and started yelling at each other, accusing one another of not having told us about their situation. Can you imagine? It turned out that they both knew about each other's affair! And they simply didn't want to do anything about it! We had a month to go until Christmas! Our parents still didn't know that Nikki and I were aware of anything. That's why we were getting ready to celebrate, as usual. Just the four of us. But for me, it was literally the last chance to save our family. Honestly, everything seemed to be fine until that very morning. Mom was being so nice and kind, and Dad was whistling a festive tune. I was so excited about the presents that I bought for both of them. You know, those matching keychains. One was engraved with Mr. and the other with Mrs. I thought that they were cute. And I even got the feeling that maybe there was still a chance for a happily ever after for them. But even before we finished with lunch, I noticed that mom was checking her cell phone every now and then. Eventually, this drove dad crazy. And they had another fight. But this time, they got sort of carried away and were directly suggesting to each other that they go and spend the holidays with their other. Nikki couldn't take it anymore and just exploded. He said that he was tired of this life and just took his jacket and left. At this point, it was obvious that our parents understood that we already knew everything. Dad went to his study and angrily shut the door, while Mom, also being totally irritated, took her coat and went out the front door. I thought she might have wanted to get Nikki back, but when neither of them showed up, even 15 minutes later, I decided to call my mom in her cell. Right at that moment, Dad appeared in the kitchen where I was and told me that he wouldn't be at home that night, and just left. Apparently mom heard this because she said I shouldn't wait up for her or dinner either in the most irritated tone and just hung up the phone. So there I was, standing in the middle of the kitchen, still holding my cell phone in my hand. I couldn't believe that my family had just left me all alone in an empty house on Christmas Eve. I felt horrible and lonely and I was ready to cry at any moment. I looked around and saw that the Christmas tree was still underdecorated. So I just went up to it and started hanging Christmas toys on it one by one. Then our family photos came into my view and I decided to place them on the table to sort of create the impression that the whole family was still together. I suddenly got an idea. What if there were some other people who were also upset and alone on Christmas? So I just thought, why don't I go live on Instagram? Honestly, I arranged my cell phone so that it was convenient for me to put the frozen pizza in the oven, and then set it on the table while talking to any possible audience that I'd have. So, here I am guys, with you on Christmas. I am about to watch the Home Alone movie on TV. Oh, hold on for a sec. It turned out that my grandparents had decided to come and surprise all of us so that we could celebrate together. Without telling anyone about their plans! No, seriously, I never felt so grateful to my grandma and grandpa and I've never been happier to see them. I had no other option but to explain to them where everybody went on Christmas Eve. But there was also another surprise in store. After about 10 minutes, Nikki also arrived with his girlfriend Jessica. They saw me online and decided to come and cheer me up. What can I say? Even though my parents were somewhere else, I still got my Christmas miracle. It's been almost exactly a month since my parents got legally divorced. Apparently, since everybody already knew everything, there was no point for them to keep pretending that everything was okay between them. I can't speak for everyone, but it really makes me sad. I mean, 
I'm grown up enough to understand that mom and dad are relieved now, and that they are still young enough to find happiness with somebody else. But it turned out that it's so hard to realize that your parents are no longer together, even if you are not a child anymore.